Okay, so um, I was thinking about conflict, and the first thing that came to mind was not this painting at all. Because this painting, first off, one of the requirements was we had to make it. This was a gift for my girlfriend and me, actually. Um, but the reason I brought it up here is because this isn't going to represent conflict. I want you guys to think of this as like a really like beautiful, perfect relationship that's, you know, like, like so you just met like your freshman roommate and everything's perfect. Like, you know that first week when you're like, oh, we're best friends and we're going to meet everybody and be the coolest kids in school. <laughs> Never happens, ever. But that's this relationship right now. So, um, you know, it's, it's really nice, like God's involved, it's pretty. <laughs> And then you're hanging out, and you come home, and they're like, oh, hey, like, I borrowed some of your quarters to do the laundry, and uh, thanks. And you're like, whoa, like, okay, like, I'm not going to worry about it, but we didn't ever talk about that. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. And there's a black spot on, on your relationship. But you're not worried about it. You just, you know, you're going to move on figure it out and then uh, and then maybe you're like okay well they did that so you know I'm gonna borrow some of their clothes which I feel like might be girls might do that more than guys but I don't know so then they're like hey like what the heck come on but either you're gonna you know get in any beef over it you're just like okay like we're figuring each other out so the year's going on, like, it's okay, you're not the coolest kids in school like you thought you might be, but, you know, you're still, you're still buddies, you're still hanging out, and then something else happens, like, you know, they, uh, steal your girlfriend or something. That would be a big one, actually, so. <laughs> I'm make that stealing your girlfriend. <laughs> um, but this is the type of thing, like, you know, your relationship used to be so awesome, and it was going to be so great, and you thought it was going to be perfect, and then you're like, hey, like, like we got black spots. We're, we're covered up. Um, and that's a time when, you know, these black spots have been representing little conflicts that have been going on as your relationship's grown, which happen. Like, you know, like, times are going to happen when somebody's going to, steal a couple quarters and do their laundry, or, you know, I mean, maybe not steal your girlfriend every time, but, um, you know, things like that. They're going to happen, and if they're not dealt with, your relationship's just going to keep getting covered, and it's just going to end up being, I mean, nobody's going to want this on their wall, nobody's going to want to look at this painting if it's got this stuff, unless, like, you're super artistic and, you know, like, a secret interpretation, which I never really understand, but... Um, anyway, so then you have to, you know, you have to deal with it, and I, uh, I consider myself somewhere on the line between avoidance and, uh, and, you know, trying to collaborate. Usually I end up closer to the avoidance. Well, that lets my relationships end up like this, which is not how relationships are supposed to be. So, you know, maybe you guys sit down and you say, hey, like, can I get some quarters back? Like, that wasn't cool. And and then it's not a big deal. You know, you guys talk about it. And hey, like that portion of your relationship, that clears up. But there's still some other stuff you gotta mess, or you gotta stop, clean up the mess from. So you guys work it out, and there's conflicts that are getting resolved and stuff. But while you're resolving them, others are going up. You know, the best just how relationships work. So some are coming down, others are going up, and then uh, and then you start getting getting better. You know, like your relationship's going better, and uh, and you start taking more down. But um, one thing we talked about a few weeks ago when we were talking about forgiveness, which is something that I really struggle with, is like like you can forgive somebody, but if they think you mean it, that's great. But if you don't mean it, then it's still there, you know, like, like you ripped it off and maybe in their mind this is completely gone, but it's still there. <clears throat> um, so I guess when I think about relation or <clears throat> conflict in relationships, it's something that, you know, a relationship can be a really beautiful thing and conflict just takes away from the ultimate relationship 
but it's going to happen. So the only way to deal with that conflict is to try to get through it and get rid of it. Yes, I think of conflict as something covering up a relationship. 